bulk of the wheat straw. In this process, what is happening is the mushroom seed, the mycelium, which is this white mold you see growing, is decomposing the wheat straw. By decomposing it, it's releasing nutrients that enable the mushroom to grow. These nutrients, we would otherwise just put them in a compost. And right here, the decomposition is happening, the nutrients for mushroom growth are being released, but at the same time, a fertile medium is, is being created. So in this room, this is where we keep the bags. There are not many bags because our goal here is to produce bags and put them out, not to actually grow the mushrooms ourselves. So you will see a few bags if you just look a bit behind the door. Three to four weeks after this mix, so this is just about a week, but in four weeks, those bags look like this bag here. And these bags are then ready to give mushrooms. Ah, sorry. <laughs> so three to four weeks, that bag you see at the beginning looks like this. And now it has been fully uh, decomposed, it's, it's been fully worked by the mushroom mycelium. The nutrients that enable the mushrooms to grow have now been released, and the mushroom is ready to grow. This here is what we call a kit. This is a mushroom kit that we say, if we eliminate that process of making from the bulk of the substrate there up to here, and then we give a household this, there are some of them who are living in, a, in one room. Yeah. And if we give them this, and that unit that you see there, which we'll explain in the end, then they can be able to actually harvest mushrooms from whatever small space that they are allocated. But if you think in line with educating our children, if you give a child this, you easily and, and, and introduce them to farming, but in a different way. We think of droughts, we think of all the different challenges, this way of adding value to waste and recycling nutrients, where we are saying after this, we have a fertile soil that we can use for growing other things. So th in this room, you also see more of these bags, what, we're, what is left after the distribution. Okay, so you have already distributed. We have distributed some, and we actually, some, some of the ones which are here are ready for distribution. Okay. The only ones we grow here are those that are not, uh, you know, um, uh, properly colonized. So if there's a patch here, patch yeah. there, these are the ones that we aim to grow here. But for the rest, we want to be producing kits and to do training yeah. here. Have yeah. so we got any with mushrooms on? Well, we are going to, okay. <laughs> we're going you're, to that part. You're, you're distributing in Ubulawani. So at this moment, because we are carrying out a project where we are working with new people, those new people we are training are the uh, people who are benefiting from uh, this distribution to start. But at the same time, we are also modeling something that those people we train, instead of just growing the mushrooms themselves, they could also take up kids' production. And I think uh, with this, I will let you have one of uh, our beneficiaries explain. This is a unit we just recently uh, designed for people who are living in, in urban areas and are moving a lot. And yes, it's made out of metal. And yes, we are aware that it gets hot inside, but we're, we're working on this, and this is part of the things we are addressing, as you can see from the top. But I'll hand over to Mama Mpo. Mpo, yes. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. This is my unit, and these are the mushrooms. And these are the kids she was explaining to you here. Yeah. Each kit here is five to seven kgs. Okay. Then these are the, the, the mushrooms. They have started um, so sprouting. So they have just started, hmm? so this yes. already these are, these are already mature. They are ready to be... Plugged. Plugged out, yes. Are they are they are we going to continue to see some sprouts? Yes. They okay. are going to come. These ones they take four three to four weeks. Continuing sprouting. to yes. sprout. Sprouting. And you'll be, and harvesting, you'll be harvesting this yes and selling. Okay. And this is the business I am in. I was yeah. trained here yeah. uh, as a mushroom farmer yeah. and I was also trained as a train trainers. Okay. And I'm training other uh, community members okay. into this mushroom. So the bags are easy to pierce through with, with no, the mushrooms? No, this piercing, what we do when we, we, we put this uh, kit in the hub, yeah. we just pierce eight walls okay. for fermentation. Yeah. Then day after, when you see that the, the mushroom wants to come from the, you just prick, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You just prick so that it just yeah. Okay. This is what we do. Then the business is, it is, uh, it's, a, it, it, it's an easy business. Yeah. I saw business, you would yeah. yeah. taking them up, I to send them. 
this is the time when it is there in the incubation room, you don't need to, to water it yeah. since water is scarce. But when it is like this now, this is when you start watering. Watering. It. Okay. Yes, it depends on the weather. Yeah. Might be in the morning, afternoon, or in the evening. Okay. Then when the weather is okay like these days, when it was raining, it was in the evening, in the morning and evening. Okay. Then when you take these uh, mushrooms out, mm -hmm. you just prick them. Punch. Yeah. Then keeper, we have got what we call a papanets. May mm. I have one, please? One with something and one without. When we have these panets, this is where we pack. We do okay. our packaging yeah. for our mushrooms. We we pack them. These small panets, we pack them at uh, 200 grams, each okay. going for a dollar. These mushrooms, when we take them out, when we, we, we cook them, we harvest them, a kg of these mushrooms, they cost five dollars. Okay. Then for our community members, we know that these are our customers. Yeah. We, we don't sell at kg, one kgs. Oh. We use these ones. The panets. These panets. And when it is packed like this. It's 200 grams. It's 200 grams this. Okay. And it costs for a dollar. Okay. And right now.